touch cat go and touch cat cat no. yes touch eye 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 touch eye eye good job touch ah look for ah ah Touch ah yes Hey everybody, welcome back to Stuff from the Cuffs. I'm Basilia and today I'm going to be sharing with you six tips that I used to help our daughter start reading from as early as 16 months old. Now 16 months is one year and four months and for a lot of people that was very early for a baby to start reading. But there were certain things that I did to ensure that we helped her along the reading journey. And so I'm going to be sharing those with you today. Now, first of all, let me just say that no two children are the same. My daughter's learning style may be completely different from your child's learning style. So don't pressure them. Don't compare them to other children. And whatever you do, just do your best to facilitate their learning process, whatever path that is all right so no pressure all right i'm just sharing with you some tips that i used and maybe they'll be beneficial to you as well so starting off with step number one and i wrote them down on cue cards because ever since becoming a mom <laughs> this is how i've been teaching my daughter so i'm doing the same for this video step number one get to know the abc's now this goes without saying, if your child is going to learn how to read, they need to know the ABCs. So from as early as about two weeks old, we started singing the ABCs to her on a continuous basis, every single day, every single day. And then when she got to about three months old, we realized that, you know, she was popping our neck to see the phone and to see the TV. So we decided to introduce screen time to her at different times of the day. So what we started to do was to play certain videos for her, colorful videos that would teach her her ABCs. Now, there are several channels that I utilized back then, and this was like four years ago. I utilized them back then and I still utilize them now, especially four or one year old, because I want to, you know, facilitate the learning process just like I did with Bree. So certain channels like Dave and Ava, Choo Choo TV, Little Baby Bomb, and there, there's a plethora of videos that you can choose from to help teach your child the ABCs. So I used to play the ABC song every single day to her at different times of the day every single day and i also ensured that i played it when she woke up in the morning and before she went to bed and so it kind of started to register right so that was the first step that i took ensured that our daughter became familiar with the abcs now step number two know the sound of each letter know the sound of each letter so after i realized that she was becoming familiar with the abcs because she started to mouth it from as early as six months old i started to find other videos that would now teach her the sound for each letter so videos like a ah 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 b b b b right down to z so again, after I realized that she was becoming very familiar with the ABCs, I then moved on to videos or even audio because I had some CDs that would teach her the sound of each letter. Then after I realized that she was catching on to that, I then moved on to step number three. I don't know if you can see it. Assign a word to each letter. Assign a word to each letter. So again, I moved on from videos that taught her the sound for each letter to videos that assigned a word to each letter. So apart from me doing it myself, I also used the videos as added reinforcement. So there is this popular one on Dave and Ava, and it goes like A is for apple, A, A, apple, B is for ball. Yes, so I used that one to teach her different sounds and the sounds also assigned different words. 
So I used that one for about an additional three months. And then by the time she got to a year old, I realized that she was able to say her ABCs, give me the sound of each letter, and in most cases, she was able to assign a word to each letter. So after that, I moved on to step number four. And this is sight words. Now, sight words, these are words that are often memorized by children so these aren't words that you decode in order to get to the correct pronunciation these are usually words that are known by way of memorizing them so words like all right and i have some here so i have some words here and these are sight words but they're different sight words so this one is off now for off, you can pronounce the letters and you get the actual pronunciation of the word, right? Off, off. But then here is another sight word and this one is the. But in order to pronounce the, the child literally has to memorize what these three letter combination, what it stands for. Because if you decode it or break it down, all right, I'm going to pronounce the different letters. You won't get the t, eh, t, eh. <laughs> it doesn't say the. So literally, you would have to teach the child that T, H, and E together stands for the. And then you have some other ones like to. If you pronounce the letters t, oh, you don't get to. So this is another example of a sight word. And then this one. Woo! you i won't even bother to decode this one because this goes without saying if you pronounce the different letters you are not going to get the correct pronunciation of this word and then you have this one it may seem simple but for a child who is just learning their abcs when they see this they may say a instead of a which is the word you're trying to teach them so you, you would have to reinforce that this apart from being a also makes a word and that word is a and then you have another sight word and this one you can pronounce and you would get the correct pronunciation a and and all right touch it it look carefully it it yes touch it yes good job touch off look for off Oof. good job touch me me no not <laughs> all right touch and look for and look for and look for and and no a n d a n d look for uh. and no, and. And. Look for and. And. A, n, d. D, d. Okay, she don't know. <laughs> so I use the Fry's first 100 words and I'll put a link in the description that helps to guide me as it relates to the different words that I can introduce at different times. So I started with five and after she learned to those five, I moved on to 10, then 15 and then 20. Now, when it comes on to sight words, when I started teaching her the sight words, what I would do, like I would cut them out on cue cards like these and I would paste them everywhere. I would paste them on the doors, I would paste them in the crib, I would paste them just about anywhere that she frequents so that she would always see the words. Because as I said, sight words, these are words that children know by way of memorizing them, by way of memory. And so what better way to help them to memorize these words than constant reinforcement and repetition constant so everywhere she went in the house well mostly she would see these words and i would go over them with her so when i got wind that you know she was becoming familiar with them 
what I did was I started to say the word and have a point on the word that I'm saying. So I would say and, and she would find and on the list, whether it was on the door or in the crib, wherever. And I would continue saying about five to 10 words. And then after I realized that she was able to point on each word correctly, I then moved on to pointing on the word and have her say the word, right? So under the banner of sight words, which is step number four, I moved from saying the word and have her point on the word to pointing on the word and have her saying the actual word. Mind you, at a year and two months, she wasn't speaking clearly, but she was making sense and I could understand what she was saying. That's how I knew that she understood what I was teaching her. So after she mastered at about 20 words or about 25 words, I then moved on to step number five. And step number five says, make sentences using the sight words that she already knew. So I started putting together sentences for her. So by now, she knew about 25 to 30 words. And I'm talking about by 16 months. She knew about 30 sight words. And so what I did was I started putting them in sentences. And just like how I used to paste them up on the door, I started pasting the sentences on the door. So I started rearranging the words that I had pasted before and she started reading them. And by this time I had a lot of books, a huge collection that she got for birthdays and for, you know, just random presents. And these words were in those books. These 30 words were very frequent right across all these books. So I gave her the books to read, to read. And she was able to identify most of the words because books for that age group was very simple. And so she could easily identify almost all the words because these were words that were constantly used in those books. So I gave her just about anything to read. All when she can't understand it, I used to give it to her and she would attempt to read it and I would help her along the way. So reading became a part of the norm for us. Even when she was just babbling, <laughs> I gave her everything to read. If I was reading a pamphlet, I gave it to her and told her to read. Mm -hmm. Reading up on how to make water safe? Safe. Safe. What should you do? Careful. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Finish? Okay. If I was reading a book or the Bible or just about anything, I gave it to her and she attempted to read. And then step number six was what I did right throughout the process. And this is, I think, the most important of them all repetition and consistency now in order to teach your child to read or to teach them just about anything you have to be consistent and repetition is the name of the game you can't teach them today and not teach them tomorrow you can't teach them today tomorrow and the other day and not teach them on the other days because at that age they have short-term memory so if you don't tell them over and over again they won't grasp it just like anything else you tell them don't touch that don't touch that don't do that don't do that it's the same thing as it relates to helping them to learn something so repetition and consistency is very 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 important i cannot stress that enough a lot of times where we go wrong is we show them today and think they're going to remember tomorrow to show them tomorrow again so this was something that i did every 
single day. Every single day. Repetition and consistency. So you can try these steps and you can let me know if they work. And I mean, as I said before, children learn differently. So you just have to figure out what learning style is best for your child. And hopefully we can all aid them along this reading journey successfully. All right. This has been another edition of Stir from the Curves. I am Basilia. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We have much more videos coming for you. Like the video, share the video, turn on your notifications, and definitely we'll have something for you very soon. I'm Basilia. Take care. Good job, honey. Thank you.